Chris Martin. Oh, you're kidding me. September. Kyle Lafferty. Are you no! joking me? Is that right? I know. <laughs> is that right? Uh, anybody else? Leash, was it? Like, that is one of the most stupid questions. <laughs> Darius Vassell? Seriously, you all need to just stay quiet. This is getting really annoying doing this quiz. What is going on here? <laughs> 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome along to the shoutiest segment on Irish radio. It's the scintillating, it's the stupefying, it's the splendido crappy quiz. Every Friday we pit three of Team Off the Ball up against one another in a no-holds-barred quiz of sporting factoids at the end of the week. Allow me to welcome tonight's contestants. Well done. Thank you. No problem. Our first contestant tonight is seething with this week's Specsavers Power Rankings on OTB AM. He simply cannot believe that Meather ranked 11th in the country. He's made very sensible points, such as Meather are a Division 1 team now, even though they haven't actually played a single Division 1 game for 13 years. And he made a very compelling argument that Meather in the last eight, even though they haven't actually won a game at this level in 10 years. There's no delusion at all from the Meath hillbilly Tommy Rooney. Oh, we, that's the crack. Nice very welcome. Happy. Thanks very much. Very nice t-shirt. Kevin didn't like it this morning. What colour would you describe that as? Uh, what is it? Salmon, but it's not really, isn't it? It's, it's salmon, I tell you. Light pink. Mm. Um, just on salmon that. Salmon left points. out a little bit too long. <laughs> you can Got frame out. your points whatever way you want. Kevin, Kevin <coughs> above mead. Armagh are above mead. How much t- uh, Super 8 games have Kevin or Armagh won? None. They've never played Super 8 football. These are the arguments that you're putting at me. It's your words, not mine. It's your power rankings, man. There's something wrong They're with the them. official like GA okay. world ranking. So we'll see yeah. at the end of the Super Eights where Mead end up. Is that your th- hashtag spawn? No. Is, like, is that why you brought it up? Is, not is, just. Is, no, no, it's just, just a not just. I've been getting some Instagram requests. You know, do you want to collab and work with us and yeah. kind of turn them all down? Nothing's been right yet, so nothing. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for the right, <laughs> the right offer. Well, influencer culture is dead now, isn't it? There's no more likes on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, see, it's not even Missy likes. Likes. Not even likes. Get your buzz. It's positive. Just collab. General collab. Like general collab. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, in the middle seat tonight, we've got a man who sits down every night to watch his fellow monster man, Greg O'Shea, on Love Island. <laughs> Whenever Greg says, ah, she's not my type on paper, he gets up out of his armchair and shouts at the TV, stand up and fight until you hear the bell. <laughs> and whenever Greg comes up with someone new, he takes off his monster shirt, swings it over his head and roars at the telly, monster by birth, the Love Island villa by the grace of God. <laughs> Give it up for Neil, it is what it is, Tracy. That was pretty good. I thought that was all right. He's some shit star, isn't he? I haven't watched it yet now. Uh, he was a few years behind me in school. Was he? Yeah? He was, yeah. Savage rugby player. He's a, a student? I don't know. He's he was like, a few years behind me, so I wasn't in many of his classes. Typical monster fashion, he's got the wooden spoon out at every possible oh, yeah? opportunity, and none of them are wide to it. Is it he is just stirring the pot, 100%. No, it's not. It's unreal. He's not stirring the pot. Oh, he's stirring the pot left, right, centre. He's playing the game. He's doing the exact opposite of stirring the pot. I think he's uh, carried himself in a very dignified fashion. But extremely dignified fashion, but at the same time, it's classic monster. Carry themselves in an absolute dignified good limerick man. fashion while stirring the old pot on the QT. How, how is he stirring the pot? Give me specific examples he's, here. So he's, he's calling Michael, Mike, Mick, whatever you're having yourself, apart from what his actual name is. He's, Did Mikey go in there? He's saying Not to... Not a Mikey's in limerick. He's saying to... Um, no, Michael is from Liverpool. Um, <laughs> is, he call, is he calling him Mikey? <laughs> no, he hasn't called him Mikey yet, no. He's, uh, he's saying to Amber, oh, listen... Like, you want to watch out for that guy. He's like, oh, he's suddenly into you now that we've started going on a couple of dates and Joanna's left the house, the island. He's right, um, though. I, 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 wanna, I wanted to pretend. Pot, I wanted to pretend that I actually have no idea what's going on in here, but I've been seeing a few I'm clips. I'm all over it. <laughs> Anything you need to know about Love Island. Michael is a snake, and I think Greg is playing the game, but you've got to play the game when he's you're in the there. Game. He only has oh, a couple of weeks. There's yeah. 50 grand on the line. Um, so, yeah, if you need to collab on Love Island, <laughs> just pit me up. Thank you. And our final contestant, as you've heard there, is back from his sojourn in France, where he brought his faux Midlands outrage to the outrageously rude people of the Loire Valley. <laughs> in a coffee shop in Orléans, the barista didn't even say you're welcome. So he shouted at him and said, God, you people are the worst. I'm going to throw this coffee in your face unless you say you're welcome. He was at the Chateau de Chambord, and a staff member said to him, Bonjour, bienvenue. And he turned to her and said, God, you French people are so rude. I'm Irish. Speak English to me. He's here and he's fuming. <laughs> Give it up for Adrian. Who's your daddy, Barry? Uh, standard of coffee, I find anywhere else in the world, outside of Dublin now, to be substandard. Really? Yeah. Why? I just don't find I can get the same quality of coffee anywhere else on the planet. So Dublin is the... You're like those, you're like those, you're like those my, English people that go to Mallorca going like, oh, I can't get a full English breakfast over here. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> you, clearly, you clearly don't drink coffee in Marconi House. 
I mean, it's a great coffee here, Tommy, but I wouldn't have it in the top five of <laughs> Dublin coffee houses, no. Right, what's your top five coffee houses? I go moment? to, I'll just give you number one. Hashtag spawn. Hashtag influence. No, ha- no, no, coll- no hashtag collab, no hashtag spawn, but my go to coffee in Dublin is on Anger Street. It's an independent coffee house called Network. It's opposite DIT. The cup of coffee is outstanding. I've had better cups of coffee. Then where? Network? Mm-hmm. From what, what's your number one? Starbucks. I really like the good uh, food store. It had been, it had been did a little... Did you freebie there this morning? No, I didn't actually. <laughs> Hashtag well, I got Owen a Hashtag birthday collab. coffee. Got Owen a birthday coffee this morning. Because Kevin yeah. didn't bring him in one. Uh, there's loads of good coffee places in Dublin. That's exactly my point. He's saying that's there's no exactly good coffee anywhere else. No, oh, that's, that's I also didn't say that. I mean, I do appreciate that you, we all work this in the media and you're taking my point. <laughs> spinning the words. Like spinning the shit out of it. But what I'm saying is the best coffee that I've, I can find anywhere... I mean, I'm not saying that I've covered every inch of the globe. Well, no, it's, you did use the word substandard, didn't you? Yeah, it's, I'm saying, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's You're definitely on the board of directors else. or something. <laughs> what's, the name, what's the name of the place again? Network on Andrews. How many mentions do you have to get in during the crappy quiz? Five. Cool. Three more to go. <laughs> As ever, the format is a classic crappy quiz with four questions each. <coughs> After four rounds is the trivia equivalent of taking every game as it comes. That's the rapid fire round. You can podcast the crappy quiz on iTunes and Stitcher or Podcast Addict off the ball.com or the Go Loud app. You can download that now. Give us five out of five, even if that does not represent your actual opinion. And please send any questions you have via postcard to crappy quiz quiz master off the ball towers, Marconi House, Diggs Lane, Dublin 2. We did get posts this week. From France? No. Oh. Why didn't you send us a postcard? I should have done, actually, yeah. Sorry about that. Didn't even ask you about your holiday. Was it good? Yeah, how long have we got? However long you want. Not long, we need to do a quiz. Yeah, it's good, yeah. Nice. Nice. You were in the array, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. We were looking for you. Show me photos. <laughs> Did I show you the holiday photograph? Oh. No, you weren't. We were just looking at photos oh, of the array. <laughs> Looked unreal. Rog is going to settle there. It is unreal. Yeah. 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 It sounds like a great holiday. Thanks for the info. Like Love Island. Round one is the boring questions round. Never multiple choice. Question one for you, Tommy. <sighs> Killian O'Connor passed Cullum Cooper out at the weekend in the all-time scoring list in championship football. But can you tell me which Kerry legend is now third? Mikey Shee. Correct. Question one, Tommy always seems to get right. Yeah. I'll be honest, as, I haven't And it's always minutes. visible on the front sheet yeah. of the paper. Ah, as I leave it here on my desk. Agreed, yeah. Yeah. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Hold on a second, Nuts. I haven't got more than one question right in about six weeks. That's always my first exactly. question. Yeah. It's always the one you can see <laughs> on the page. Don't, don't, don't be trying to throw <laughs> me off my on. game already. It's not going to work. On. You play to see in this seat every week. Every week I ask to sit somewhere else. I also sit beside you on the office, like. Yeah, exactly. More reason to... Yeah. Have I ever looked over your shoulder? Yeah. I'm sure Keep you have. Keep digging there, Tommy. Keep digging. <sighs> question one for you, Neil. Here are the hurlers with the top six scoring tallies in a single game in this year's hurling championship. At number one, we've got Patrick Horgan, 310 versus Kilkenny. At number two, we've got TJ Reid, 212 versus Dublin. At number three, we've got TJ Reid, 211 versus Galway. At number four, we've got Patrick Horgan, 29 versus Clare. At number four as well, because it's a tie, TJ Reid, 112 versus Carlo. There's also a tie for number four. Number I want five. to tell you who is this, but no, at number four. That was number four. They're all number four because they're equal. Uh, who is the other person tied at number four with that same tally as Patrick Horgan and TJ Reid? Hint, his name is not TJ Reid or Patrick Horgan. The biggest tally in a single game this year outside of those two. Um, is it Ross King? No, it's uh, Jason Ford against Ross King's leash. 112 he scored. Question one for you, Adrian. Can you name the only Westmeath footballer to win multiple All-Stars? Hint, he's not from Westmead. Huh? Also not true. Um, I know one, I'm pretty sure I know who won the first one. I just don't think he won one after that. I think it might be the obvious answer. Do I want to commit to it? Your inner monologue's very interesting. Uh, TikTok? More than one. Gonna need an answer here. I'll go for Desi. No. Sorry, the no. Gary Carlson? No. John Keane? John Keane. Damn it! <laughs> Jesus Christ! To be fair, like you, you'd definitely win every quiz we yeah. have if we gave you four opportunities. <laughs> four attempts at every answer. <laughs> right, round two is the postcard round number two, because as I said, we did get posts this week and they are. He's been vetted. Uh, they have not been vetted. Oh dear. Uh, and I'll tell you why they haven't been vetted is they come from. An old listener to the crappy quiz who sent in these exact postcards before. 
he or she has not sent in their name. So I don't know who this is, but they've sent in these lovely Roy de Rovers postcards. Uh, Where's the post stamp? Where's the stamp on the envelope? Uh, it came in an envelope. From? Era. <laughs> um, uh, Show it right over. Where, where's that? <laughs> it must be like a location. Right, Aira. <laughs> Who says that? Peter Shilton, isn't it? <laughs> Port Leash. Going over to Aira. Port Leash. Port Leash. Yeah, but Port Leash is like... A male it's not the yeah. Like, yeah. basically... Well, it's got to be either of our anywhere cabinet's fans Port Leash. Is that what you're saying? Neil is riding it out to anywhere in Leash. I used to work in one of these depots at Christmas time, Port basically. Oh, like, right. anything that doesn't go to the main centre is just into Port Leash oh, and right. ship it off so after it could that. Be could be anywhere. Right. Right, Tommy, question two for you. How are you? And this is on uh, Royals Rovers. Play better soccer, eight football picture stories, nice. postcard, three picture cards free inside. How to get a free album introduced by Don Revy, a great uh, issue of Royals Rovers there. Which of these combinations have the most Grand Slam singles titles to their name? Is it A, Sam Press and Serena, B, Federer and Navratilova, or C, Nadal and Graf? Nadal and Graf. Correct. They've got 40 slams between them. You're up to two points. <sighs> Jeez, that's a big one. That's it's a big one. Guess, obviously. No, no, I mean, like, it's the first time we've got two points right in a crappy quiz in about six weeks. Mm-hmm. Neil, you're getting one from this Royal Rovers issue, which also has nine super stories. Spandali ballet star Martin Kemp had established himself in Melchester Rovers' first team. What did you just say? What did he call it? Oh. Spandau. Oh, f- <laughs> Christ. Eh. What did he say? Spandali. Spandali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Happy birthday, Owen. Oh, okay. This is why you should vet postcards. Not because of the questions. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Slade is off form, is all, I can, uh, is all I can tell you. There you go. Spandau Ballet. I'm not reading Spandali Ballet. I'm not reading, I'm not reading <laughs> I'm not, Okay, what is Spandau Ballet? Ballet? Spandau Ballet is a band that Martin Kemp and Ross Kemp were the main members of. <laughs> really? Yeah. Ross Kemp as in... He sent us Ross Kemp. Yeah. Gangs. Jesus. No. No. Not Ross no, Kemp. not Ross Kemp. Martin, Martin Kemp. Kemp and <laughs> his brother. He's not Ross <laughs> Kemp. <laughs> but it was Martin Kemp. The Mitchell Who was also in EastEnders. So, Tony, Tony when, did, when did Spandau Ballet uh, exist? Spandau Lib- but They were an 80s band. Were they 80s, 90s? Okay. Well, while, while you're Googling... Actually, no. Put away your phone. Ask me the quiz. question and then we can spend the time Googling yeah, to give well, me well, extra I, time I to answer. answer. The, the, the la- Kieran Brandy can Google it. He's in the box. Ballet. Spandali Ballet is a way better name. The, la- the last All-Star winner from a county outside the 2019 Lee McCarthy teams occurred in 2000 when this player won his third award when named at midfield. Who was it? I got multiple choice there, Neil. That's tough. Yeah. Don't blame me. Blame the anonymous Port Leash Roy the Rovers fan. <coughs> I think this is like the championship. Really player, enjoy. maybe... Sorry, I wasn't listening. Ah. I was googling Spandley Valley. <laughs> it actually gets funnier the more you say it as well, Adrian. Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm out. Johnny Dooley. Johnny Dooley. Yeah. Uh, Martin Camp and Gary Camp, and Tony Hadley. You're looking blankly at me. <laughs> I have no idea who those people are. Oh. Um, no, I do. To be fair. Roy the Rovers this time is one well, I'm not going to read out the front of them it's nice, it's nice <laughs> Adrian which team who were involved in the inaugural Premier League season in 1992-93 finished lowest down on the Football League ladder last season Oof. I got the Connick Championship there and you boys got Leinster and Ulster and I got the Munster Championship I suppose hit me the call go again <sighs> The teams involved in the inaugural Premier League season in 92-93, which of them finished lowest in the Football League last season? I have a clue, Everton. <laughs> <laughs> Was it Swindon? Oldham Athletic. Oh, what? Oh, I thought it was the Premier League. Oh, that's ridiculous. I thought you meant... He like, said in the... No, he said... Like, he said the Football I, League. He repeated uh, the question as well and said in the Football League ladder. They finished 14th in League uh, 2. Listen, that is not where Everton I finished. I would not have gone for Everton if that were the case. Good round. I, I would also not have gone for. Yeah. Oh, we got bonus. Cards. We got way more than uh, round for you. Round three is the postcard round number two. <laughs> you just make this up on the fly. Hmm? Uh, Tommy, question three for you. Which team finished runners up most often in the English first division during the 1980s? Hmm. Are you thinking? Liverpool. Correct. Ooh. Tommy, three out of three. 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90
a bullet. The Dream Team edition. Kills it. That's incredible. Um, that is Dream Team. It's a pity the things like it's that Dream Team based aren't created on. anymore, isn't it? Yeah, it is. They bring back Dream Team or Roy like Rovers. Tommy's easy, easy questions now, but look. Uh, the next one is uh, a comic for Roy Rovers. Small part. It wasn't around. I there again. Neil. No. Question three for you. Two uh, this is the second time in a round the two of you have just like had a conversation <laughs> around my question. It's fantastic radio, isn't it? <laughs> Name the last club to win the Champions League final in their own country. In their own country. <laughs> um, <sighs> Again, a small part of answer, Zach. Um, it's easy enough, no? I don't know. He always says that when he doesn't know the answer. <laughs> yeah. Bayern Munich? Real no. Madrid? No. Chelsea? No. What does it, <laughs> come on, give us other options for the small part of answers. <laughs> uh, Barcelona? No. Porto? No. <laughs> uh, I'd say you're going back quite a while. Champions League final held in Porto. I'm just throwing stuff at you now. Juventus? No, it's Borussia Dortmund in Munich in 1997. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew that. Tommy's pulling away here. Adrian, That's a good question, that one. you gotta, you got to stop this. The qu- level of the question you're giving me are absolutely ridiculous. That last question about like the lowest team in the football league, do me a favour. You didn't listen to it properly. Well, yeah, either way, I still wouldn't have got the answer either way. Well, we, well, you, could have, well you could have been a guess. here would have got the answer. Well, I would have got closer to everything. Uh, I, yeah, closer. Yeah. Sure. You picked the team so that are in the Premier League right now. I'm a, do you know what, Adrian? I'm giving you the easiest available question left. What? You, you yeah. can't just choose. You no, can't I am. Just I'm, fe- I'm why feeling nice. Why can't I also have the easiest question available? Well, you have Adrian Barry's not my boss. Who? You can't just editorialise like that. That's ridiculous. Uh, I've, so exactly what I've done. Sorry, I was just reading the what fictional the footballing magazine uh, covers again. <laughs> Shows it. This, Adrian, this which club had two players in the 2018 All Star football team? The easiest question <laughs> possibly ever. Um. Oh, it's like it's actually so easy. Mm-hmm. It's actually over your head. It's on top of your head. Okay, I'm actually delighted up? you give him this question. <laughs> like Neil said, can you shut up? God, I'm actually kind of confused as to how somebody thought this was a suitable question for a professional sports broadcaster. Yeah, no. GA question as well. Amazing. This is the fellow who has audio shame. Oh, do, 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 is it... <laughs> Come on, is that a Spandau Ballet song? Uh, <laughs> is that the real... This is classic yeah. stalling. <laughs> Come on. It's Fenton and... Isn't it? Come on, give me an answer. Oh, it's a club... It's Fenton. Give me an answer. And his club mate. And they come, they play for... Five. No, four. no, 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 no. Come on, we need give a bit more time. Come on, give a bit more time. Tommy I, knows I'm on the right track. I nearly said it. Um, He's not going to get it. We're gonna, we are under time pressure here. Friday Night Racing is coming up next, lads. I'm going to go... Oh, it's not going to be right anyway. Uh, Just give a guess, Adrian. Somewhere. Let's get out of here. It's the weekend. Somewhere in Leinster. <sighs> Adrian, come on. Five, four, three... Two. It's not the right answer, one. but I'm going to go with Kilmacook Crocs. Rahini. Oh. Rahini. So I'm right, haven't I? Uh, I nearly said Rahini. I was going to say Rahini. I nearly said Rahini. Actually, Rahini was in my top three answers there. Who's so, the other one? That, uh, Fenton and... Brian Howard. Howard. Ah, I misheard the question. I thought you had said county. And for ages, when he was talking about... Uh, Clubs, oh, the clubs that I was like when you mentioned it's Fenton easy, and stuff easy. I was going what, what, what way is he here. going here it's easy to mishear a question Neil. so the scores after oh, round three your question Man, stop the scores that. after round three is Tommy three oh. Nathan or Neil nil Adrian how dare you, <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> he just says N on the top of my sheet it could all change though round four so is the fun of course it can it's the fun for your magic number round contestants get three points <coughs> for getting the number exactly right if no one manages that the nearest contestant who doesn't go bust gets two points the second closest gets one point. I'm going to state that we can only accept the answer that's written on your paper at the end of this round. I'm also going to have to ask for your pens once the music ends. So if you don't mind, give us the following number. The number of strokes Rory McIlroy needed on day one of the 2019 Open Championship, plus the number of times Rory McIlroy has won the Open, plus the number of strokes below par McIlroy finished when he last won the Open, plus the number of times Tiger Woods has won the Open. Your 30 seconds expires when Sinatra sings Bright Shiny Beads. Sorry, can you explain the first one to me again? Because I'm not great with golf. How many strokes did he have yesterday? Jesus Christ. So, like, it's a really high number. 
Is it over? How many strokes? Over? Are we on the way? How many shots does he hit last year? No, sorry, strokes. Are we on the way here? Shots over or his actual final score? Sorry, no power macro. I finished when he last won the Open. Is it close to 110? Like the amount of yeah. shots he took yes, time Tiger has won well, the Open. Number time McElroy has won the Open. I miss, I miss. Right. Ten down. Tommy, what have you got written down? Eighty-nine. Neil, I have. Well, is it bust or not bust? 101. 101. 94. 94. Adrian gets the points. It's 100. Get in! Oh, 100 bang on the money. So it's such a stupid rule. <laughs> So Tommy gets one point, Adrian gets two points, Neil, you're stuck at zero. The number of strokes Roy McIlroy needed on day one of the Open Championship? 79. 79. 79. What's that even easy? That's 78. The number of times Rory has won the Open? One. Two. Once. Oh. And the number of strokes McIlroy needed when he won that Open? Oh, sorry, the number of strokes below par he was? Uh, Ten. Seventeen. Seventeen, yeah. Oh, yeah. The number of times Tigers won the Open? Four. Three. Three. Four. So that leads to a nice round 100. Okay, now on to the final. Nailed that round, Neil. Our winner tonight will be decided in the round that separates the men from the boys, the Neil Diamonds from the Neil Tracys. It's an old <laughs> particular, ridiculously easy rapid fire round. The score you get in this round will be added to your score in the previous round. There will be 40 seconds for everyone to answer from the same set of questions. We're going to start with the person with the highest number of points. That's you, Tommy. Then onto the person in second. That's you, Adrian. And then onto the person in last. That is you, Neil. Yeah. So it's 4 2 is it? If you get a question Three, correct. 3 2 no? 4 2 4, four. If you get a question correct, I will ask you another question and keep asking you questions until you get one wrong. If you get a question wrong, I move on to the next person and you lose a point. You ready to go? Yeah. Your time starts with a Joe Malloy. Brad Pitt is impenetrable. Brad Pitt's impenetrable. In what year did Darren Clark last win the Open? 2008. No, 2011. Who was the manager of the Cork footballers? Ronan O'Neill. No, McCarthy. <laughs> who won the Golden Ball at the Women's World Cup this year? Uh, Megan Rapino. Correct. Uh, who won the All-Ireland Football title in 2002? Armagh. Correct. Shamrock Rovers knocked which team out of Europe this week? Brand. Correct. On what course did Shane Lowry go close to winning the US Open in 2016? Oh, uh, Oakland. Correct. Oh. Julian Alaphilippe is associated with which sport? Cycling. Correct. Ah. Uh, do you also play at the New York Stadium or the Boston Stadium? New York. Correct. Oh. Who lost there out of this year's championship? Uh, Arma. No, Tyrone. Oh. Oh. Open winner. Oh, Four open winner. Nick Price is from which country? South Africa. No, Zimbabwe. You're finished oh. on two. Neil finishes on five. Adrian, come on. Neil Tracy. Back from the jaws of victory. Oh, the actors. Oh, no. That feels amazing, I guess. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! How did I do that? I needed a win. I needed to get back on track. Me and Phil without a significant win this year. Got, what, what happened to you? I just haven't won. I've been playing six weeks. Oh, Darren Clark, tough question. Darren, no, that was, that was easy yeah, enough. Remember that? Ah, uh, listen, not in a not in a. Oh, that's that's a bit too young to remember. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I read it straight off. Friday night racing is coming up next. That is our laugh from the crappy quiz here and off the ball. You can catch all our previous quizzes back on YouTube.com. Well done, Neil. Forward slash off the ball. We'll see you next week.